heart that hurts I want to spend my life Mending broken people I want to spend my life Mending broken people Hello and welcome to 3ABN Today Cooking. My name is Jason Bradley and I'm so excited to be with you today because I am getting ready to do what I do best and that is eat delicious meals. And I don't even have to cook it. Our guest today is someone who is no stranger to 3ABN. Her name is Padmaja Madidi. But I'll call you Padma for short, correct? correct? Yes. Namaste. 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 And what does that mean? That's greetings okay. in Indian. Okay, nice. Tell us a little bit about your background. Well, I'm a registered nurse, mm -hmm. uh, happily married. My husband is a physician. He's the medical director of Suncoast Community Health Centers in okay. Tampa. Uh, we have two children. Uh, both are physicians. They're married and they're out of the house. So we do travel a lot and do a lot of mission work at least two to three mission trips every year. Wow, two to yes. three a year. Where are some of the places that you've been? We went to Jamaica, mm -hmm. Trinidad, Guyana, India. So we do travel quite a bit every year. Wow. Yes, wow. so we, we have fun doing that. But first of all, I really want to thank 3ABN for giving me this opportunity to show these tasty, nutritious, vegan recipes. Yeah, well, praise the Lord. <laughs> We're happy to have you. So. Yes, you just have to use just a little bit of Indian spices, and that will just enhance the taste of any food and curry that you're making. Uh -huh. Can I tell you something? Yeah. I love Indian food. Wow. Like Indian food is its one of my favorites. Like my, It's in my top. Well, top. you're in for a special treat today. Nice. What are we going to be making today? OK, today the first dish is spinach rice. OK, let's so, take a look at those ingredients. Yes. OK, first we need two cups of uncooked basmati rice. Now, you cook according to the instructions on the package. One pack of fresh spinach, one clove garlic, one teaspoon cumin seeds, one to two green chilies, one tablespoon urad dal, half a teaspoon mustard seeds, five to 10 curry leaves, one to two tablespoons olive oil, and juice two to three medium limes and salt to taste. Mm, that sounds like it's gonna be a really good recipe. Yes, now first we have to blend the spinach, okay. fresh spinach. As you can see, I'm using only fresh over here, fresh spinach, mm -hmm. and now you blend that with a little bit of the water along with garlic. Now this, is, this isn't the minced garlic out of a bottle, this is like yeah, fresh garlic, garlic clove. Yes, and okay. then some cumin, mm -hmm. and this is the green chilies. Okay. You just put a little water and blend it all together. Okay. I have already blended that, and this, is the mixture. Oh, nice. So this is the consistency that it should take on yes. after you blend it. OK. This so, looks amazing, that color. Yes. And I'm telling you, spinach rice is such a wonderful dish. Mm -hmm. We are going to, I'm telling you, you're going to love this. Oh. And now I'm going to put oil okay. in the pan. We're just going to let the oil warm up a little bit. Okay. And the first thing that I do put in the oil, everybody should know if they've watched my shows before, is mustard seeds. Really? Mustard yes. seed and oil? And why is it? Mustard that? seed. Did you see the mustard seeds? This is mustard. Wow. Yes. Now, if we have faith like a mustard seed, and that's exactly that's, what they're talking about is this mustard seed. That is tiny. Yes. So now we are going to use the mustard seed. First, I will pour. You just have to make sure the oil is really hot. OK. Because they'll start sputtering. OK. Now, after the mustard seeds, the cumin seeds. OK. And the urad dal. 
What a dog. I've never heard of that before. This is split piece, but oh, it's a different kind of piece. We have okay. several different kind of piece in India. Okay. Okay, now we'll pour the urad dal. We mm. just have to make sure that's light brown. And then I'm going to add my curry leaves. Okay. I'm getting those flavors going. Yes. Now I'm going to add the curry leaves. Wow. See, I haven't, I haven't seen curry leaves before either. See, do you see them sputtering? Yes. Yes. Now we know it's hot. Should I be there. nervous? <laughs> no. <laughs> and now I'm going to pour the mixture here, the spinach mixture. Okay. Oh, wow. Now we're going to let this cook. Okay. I'm going to reduce the heat a little bit. Wow, that's really, that's really going. It smells. Yes. Remember smells now, great. we have garlic in here, mm -hmm. green chilies in here, and cumin. So that's the smell that you're getting. I love garlic too, but you know, I'm, hopefully I don't talk to anybody after I, after I eat this. Now, as, um, as you can see, for this particular dish, mm -hmm. I'm using basmati rice. Okay. Okay? I have already cooked basmati rice. We have to have it already cooked and ready for this recipe. Okay. So okay. I already have my basmati rice ready. Now, this, as this is cooking, you know, I just want to tell you a li little bit about the spinach. Okay. Some of the nutritional properties? Yes. Okay. Now, it, it has so many minerals and vitamins, just loaded with vitamins for every part of your body. Okay, so now when you cook the spinach, actually it's more benefits. Then they say it has three times, just half a cup of cooked spinach has three times more nutritional value than wow. one cup of raw spinach, unless you put it in a smoothie or blend it, then the benefits are there okay. know, much more okay. than just raw spinach itself. Wow. Did you know that? No, I didn't. I, I thought it was the other way around. Like I thought that if you had raw spinach, it was more benefits than if you cooked the spinach. So that's something new for me. Yes. I'll take that for you. Just a little bit. Now, can you see this? Yes. What we have to do is really when you're cooking the spinach that's already blended, mm -hmm. you have to make sure that raw smell mm -hmm. is gone. You, you, so you need to cook this for about five minutes. Okay. So okay. About five minutes. Yes, about five minutes. So you just need to keep stirring it, make sure it doesn't get burnt. Mm -hmm. But you need to get the raw smell well cooked. and. You can put it on low, medium heat and let it cook. If you put the lid and cook it, uh -huh. it just cooks a little faster. Okay. You know, the, the spinach itself yes. cooks a little faster. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But now we'll just, can you see the little bit of oil coming up yes. on the top? Because yeah. that, that's telling that it's cooked. Okay. You know, when, when you see the oil slowly coming up to the top, mm -hmm. then you know it's cooked. Then it's cooked. And okay. then now we add rice to this dish. Ah, okay. So now we put the rice in. Yes. The I'm gonna I'm gonna put Okay. If you can help and keep Absolutely. stirring that for me. Sure. Okay. Now let me. I'm going to hold it this You're way. Hold it this way. All yeah, right. Let me. Let me do that. You got it. Yeah. All right. I'm going to add the rice. Nice. I love basmati rice too. Yeah. Very flavorful. Very flavorful. Okay. Now, if you can keep mixing the rice for me. Mm -hmm. And. And then and now I'm going to reduce the heat. Okay. Really low. And you just keep mixing the rice till okay. all the spinach and the rice mix together. Mm -hmm. We need to add some salt to this. A little salt for taste. Okay. Absolutely. Nice. And then as it keeps mixing, I'm going to add some lime juice. Mm. I'm telling you, this is the 
best recipe for fussy kids that don't like spinach. Tell me some kids that love spinach, do they? No. I don't think not that so. I not that I know of. I know yeah. I didn't love spinach. You when you I was just kid. give them spinach and tell them to eat it. Will they eat it? No. no. So guess what? For some kids that don't like to eat spinach, this is the best way to cook. They don't even know spinach is in there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I cooked the other day for m my brother's kids, and mm -hmm. they looked at this and like, no, 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 I don't want to eat it. And I said, just taste a little. Guess what? Can I have more? Can yep. I have some more? Can I have some more? And they just ate the whole plate. I believe it. Sometimes when kids see green, it's like they want to run from it. Yes. I was that way. But I'm telling you, the taste is amazing. Just a little bit of lime and these Indian spices mm -hmm. just it just takes it to another level. Yeah, it's it's really amazing. yes. But we, here I am, adding a little bit of the lime. You just need to be careful mm -hmm. and add lime and salt according to your taste. Okay. If you don't want it that salty, mm -hmm. you know you don't have to eat it. But wow, it looks good and it takes on such a nice color. Yes. Mm. But you have to make sure that the spinach is really well, well mm -hmm. cooked. Mm -hmm. and then you you, in you don't want the, the raw you don't want that raw smell. Okay. And then you just kind of mix it very well with the rice, and there you go. We have spinach rice. Was that that difficult? No, that wasn't that difficult. This is going to be even less difficult to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to eat that. Yes. That looks amazing. See that? Yes. All yeah. done. We have our spinach rice. It's just a little prep work of blending it. Yes. But, but it cooks very fast. Spinach doesn't take very long to cook. Yes, yes. No, and no, it's no, very no. high in nutritional value. Mm -hmm. It has so many minerals it has in it. It has potassium, it has iron, it has magnesium, it has folate. So there's so many vitamins also in spinach. Nice. And I would recommend people to use spinach fresh. Okay, fresh. And spinach. they said actually if you do freeze it, Mm -hmm. Actually, the nutrients diminish. You know, they're okay. not as n much nutrition okay. as fresh spinach. Okay. So I love to use fresh everything. So here we go. So we want you. You want to taste a little absolutely. bit? Absolutely. I wish I would have grabbed a smaller spoon, but you know what? Here. I'll have to. I'll well. I'll go with the big. I'll get <laughs> yeah. the big one. Here. No, here, here. Let's see here. Or. Big one. Mm. Mm -hmm. Can you That's see good. all the lime mm -hmm. and the, the flavors salt. really yes. come out? Flavor is rich. What are we going to be making next? Oh, the next that goes with this mm -hmm. is the red kidney bean curry. We have two cups of dried red kidney beans, one can coconut milk, two to three tablespoons olive oil, one teaspoon cumin seeds three to four bay leaves, two medium onions finely chopped, one to three teaspoons ginger garlic paste, three medium tomatoes pureed, one to two teaspoons madras curry powder, quarter teaspoon turmeric powder, two to three tablespoons cilantro, salt to taste. So how do we start this off? Okay, first we put oil. Mm -hmm. Just going to put some olive oil. Okay. And let that heat up just a little bit, but we'll pretend that's hot. Okay. <laughs> Since we are pressed for time. Uh, that's and right. these are cumin seeds. Okay. Okay, first we'll put the cumin seeds mm -hmm. as they're sauteing. If you can keep stirring for sure. me. Sure. Right. And then some bay leaves. Okay. Now, do you see that nicely simmering? Yes. Yes, and kind of mix the bay leaves a little bit okay. in the oil. Now, after that, I will just put, okay, Get the onions, that. onions, okay. onions. I love onions too, by the way. Onions and garlic just really add to a yes. meal, add that flavor. Mm. Okay, now, we keep stirring, just make sure the onions are light brown in color okay. as you saute them. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to wait till they turn light brown in color. 
But the next step to this is we add some ginger garlic paste. Oh wow. Okay? Okay. Ginger just, garlic paste. Yes, it's it's you just blend equal amounts of ginger and garlic with just a little bit of water in the blender. Okay. Okay? And now you saute that ginger garlic. You just need to get that raw smell out. Just mm -hmm. for a minute or so, you keep stirring it. Okay? And then let me just put the put it down a little bit. It smells amazing yes. already. And now I'm going to add the tomato paste. I like to puree my own fresh tomato. It almost looks like we're going into like a chili type of... Yes, okay. this is a chili dish, but <laughs> guess what? Without any meat in it, and it tastes amazing because of all the flavors. Mm. Now, I added the tomato paste. Okay, mm -hmm. see that? I'll just put a little bit more tomato paste. For the amount of chili, but we will let that cook. Okay. Actually, for two, three minutes, you will let that cook. I like to cook it with the, the lid on. Okay. You know, that will help so that it'll cook faster. The tomato will cook just a little faster. You don't want that raw smell. Okay. You know, so that's what you do. And we'll just pretend now that's done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You're moving right along. Yes, yes, because we don't have that much time. Yes, yes. And this is the curry powder. Mm. Of course, I'm using the curry powder from where I got it. It's from India, and it has excellent flavors in it. Can I smell it? Real yes. Be careful, though. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Very powerful. Good. It has cayenne pepper, coriander powder, cumin powder. Mm -hmm. These are all high nutritional values, really great health benefits also in these seeds, the fenugreek seeds and turmeric. Nice. And here is the turmeric. Okay. I'm going to add some turmeric to that. Okay, I hear now, that has great health benefits as well. Yes, it surely does. Now see, we just have to let that cook a little bit. I'm gonna it's increase nice the heat. It's colorful. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Now the tomato is not gonna be that gravy-like. We need to let it cook down. Okay. Do you understand? Yes. We're just not going to do that now. Yes. But I'm just yes. letting you know that we need to cook that down. It's going to take two to three minutes. Okay. Or even five minutes depending on, you know, how okay. high you have it. So after the tomato is done, mm -hmm. now we'll pretend that it's nice. Now this is, I already cooked the red kidney beans. Okay. Okay, this is cooked kidney beans. I soaked it overnight. Okay. This is fresh. It's not from the can. Mm -hmm. Okay, so fresh is best. Fresh right. is best. So I soaked it yeah, overnight. Hold it, hold it please. Hold yeah. it, hold it. There we go. Look at that teamwork. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. And now, when I was cooking the red kidney beans, mm -hmm. You know the water that comes out? Yes. I actually kept that water. This, really? Yes. Look at that. Wow. So now you use that water does in it here. Add just extra flavor yes, to it. Yes, it or surely something? does. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to just add all that in here. Mm. All right. We're going to let that cook. And I'm going to add a little salt. Okay. Oh, that's going to be amazing. I can't wait to taste that. Now, this is truly yes. a fiber all star. You know how much protein there is? How much? Just one cup of, has 15 grams of protein. 15 grams of protein? 15 grams of protein, wow. very high in protein. Wow. This is one of the best foods for diabetics. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, because, oh, gotcha. You know, it, mm -hmm. when they just eat this, you don't need any meat or anything. This is high in fiber, high in protein. It just provides so many nutrients and vitamins mm -hmm. in just one cup of, let's, let's see what's happening here. All right. Okay. Yeah, see, 
There's so many great things. If, if we change our diets, if we eat a certain way, if we and eat, eat healthier, eat a little healthy. Yes, we can. It prevents also yes. the blood sugar from rising too rapidly. Okay. So this is a great meal for diabetics. You know, it still stabilizes your sugars mm -hmm. and keeps you. And while you know, you, it gives you the energy. Mm -hmm. And really, really great for the diabetics. Nice. Now we'll just pretend that this is cooking just mm -hmm. for three to four minutes you cook the beans okay with that water in it and then you add the coconut, the coconut milk. milk yes Lovely. look at that coconut yes. milk. yes 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 okay now we can see that simmering but we if they can look at the directions mm -hmm. that I gave and follow the directions it'll be perfect okay yes those directions will be posted yes. online on the 3ABN website www.3abn.tv um, and they'll be able to go there and check those directions yes. out and the rest you can put all the coconut milk in it mm -hmm. make sure there's enough salt i'm going to put just a little bit more salt okay and now you really need to cook this down a lot. Okay. Like it will on, on just simmer it uh -huh. on slow fire. Uh -huh. Okay, when you when they cook the beans, they have to be really soft. Okay. They cannot be hard. So that okay. will make the dish very, yeah. very tasty. Nice. Can you see the massive flavors that went into this dish? I can I can see it, I can smell it. Now I want to taste it. What do we have? What do we, Here, okay, this is the last putting? one. It's the cilantro. I'm getting eager. <laughs> this is the cilantro. Okay. That's the last thing we usually add is the cilantro. Uh huh. Okay. You put it in there and let it simmer and let it cook. That's all. But so many flavors that went into this dish. Mm -hmm. The curry powder, the ginger garlic paste, the mm -hmm. cumin, the bay leaves and the onions, just all that rich, massive flavors together, mm -hmm. just, just taste out of this world. Well, guess what? I'm hiding a little flavor down here okay. that I'm gonna grab here. Some that's of, the one that's already done. That's right. So let me get some of that flavor. Mm. Can you taste the coconut milk? Mm -hmm. Nice creamy consistency and yes. very flavorful. The coconut flavorful. milk really, really, really gave such flavor to that. Yes. You know, even without the coconut milk, they now, can do it. We've got some more delicious recipes to make. What's what's next? Okay, our next recipe is dosa. For this, you will need one cup of unhulled whole mung beans, two and a half cups of water, one to two green chilies. That's optional half an inch of ginger, half a teaspoon cumin seeds, two teaspoons oil, and salt to taste. Oh, wow, those ingredients sound great. Everything you've been making so far has been very flavorful. Um, well, this is quite a different recipe. Last time when I showed, it was a different recipe I showed Mung beans. Okay. I don't know. I'm sure a lot of them remember these are highly nutri nutritious, and these mung beans are just. I'm I'm going to show you the ones we need to soak these overnight, and this is how they become. Oh wow. Okay. They but grow they a have, little bit. Yes. Mm -hmm. you, and this is how they become. Now I'm going to make a batter with this, and that's what we are going to call it a dosa. It's like a crepe. Okay. Let's see if, if our viewers at home can see, see the difference, see the, see the growth in these beans, and hopefully I don't spill any of them out <laughs> onto the pan. All right, so what is our first step? Let me okay. put this over here. Now I'm gonna show how we're going to make the batter. Okay. All we have to do is, I, I have the directions, mm -hmm. so in one cup that we soaked, we add this into the blender, along with a piece of ginger okay, and some green chilies, which are optional. You don't have to. I took the seeds out, okay. it's de-seeded. Okay. So you can just put as much as you want. And if you don't want to, you don't have to add it. Just the I ginger. That's added flavor. I'd like to add that. Yes, yeah. just the ginger and the cumin seeds will really enhance the taste a lot. Okay. And you put a little salt to taste. Mm -hmm. Now this, I already did blend it and this is how it looks this is the batter 
Did you see that? Oh, uh, yeah. So that's the consistency that it should take yes, on after you've blended it. Yes, this is the consistency you should be able to pour. Nice. Okay, and now I'm going to make the dose or crepe. Okay. Okay. Put it on fire. We just need to get it off. I don't want it okay. too hot. So I'm just going to pour. And you just spread it around. Mm -hmm. Just like that. When you first started, it kind of reminded me of a pancake a little bit. Yes. Kind of like a pancake, but it's not sweet. This is savory. It um, has ginger. Mm -hmm. um, well, you said it's, it's better for you than a, a tortilla. Yes, because what does tortilla have in it? White flour most yes, of the time. Yes, this is just the beans. And look at this. I'm just putting a little bit of oil on the sides, okay. just around it. Okay. Is that so the edges don't stick? Or? Yeah, so the edges okay. don't stick, mm -hmm. and it'll nicely, and just put, a, just sprinkle a few drops in okay. the middle there. Okay, but we just need it to go on the side. Nice. And now this won't take very long, and we usually eat this for breakfast. Mm. What are some things that you put on it, like for, for breakfast? We usually use it with chutney. Okay. Okay, I'm going to show how to make a chutney. Mm -hmm. And then you get to eat the dosa, but then you get to eat it with the chutney too. I like that idea. Yes. <laughs> so it's really, really good. This um, mung beans mm -hmm. are really high in protein. It has 14 grams of protein. Just one cup has 14 grams of protein. Wow. And 15 grams of fiber in it. Wow. And these mung beans are really, really good for your um, digestion, but you, you usually don't have that much abdominal gas from eating these beans, but the other beans might cause gas. Well, that's a blessing that, that this doesn't do that. Yes, yeah. so it's really great. And we are adding so much nutritional, you know, you can see the taste, mm -hmm. and you're not using like, you know, like a tortilla, or you can use it, you know, like a pancake, okay. but you're not adding any sweet. This is just Safe. enough spices, yes, mm -hmm. to make it, Tasty. If you want, you can add vegetables and roll it up like a burrito. Oh, nice. Yeah. Now, so there I, are many options. Many options that you can do. You just have to be creative and do this. So you see, just wait. I'm just waiting for it to just cook a little bit longer. Okay. Because or else I won't be able to take it. And then we flip it to the other side. Okay. So that part cooks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You just make sure that both sides are evenly cooked. Uh -huh. And then you dip it with, and some people eat it with salsa. If you don't have a chutney, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, then just put some salsa on there. Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, do, uh, do you see that? Yeah. I can tell you've done this before. Oh, yes. <laughs> I make this, I made this for my children, and I'm telling you, they loved it. Yes. And it's very nutritious. There you go. Oh, that's going to be amazing. So now you take it. And then you flip, and flip it. flip it. Wow. There. And then you let that cook. So how, how long do you let it cook on each side, approximately? It depends on the flame. OK. If it's on a medium flame, maybe like two minutes. Mm -hmm. or, you know, you just have to see. When you're able to flip it, then you know it's cooked on that side. OK. So you just let it sit there for a minute or two, and then you know that it's, it's done. Okay. So you need to have your plate ready. Oh, uh, you know, um, I come prepared. Here we go. This is just, you would love it. My kids loved it, and you're gonna love it. I'm just gonna check just one second. One. Yeah, just okay. one second, just to make sure. You can flip it a couple of times, mm -hmm. depending. Okay. All right. And I'm not going to eat the whole thing right now because I do want to You try have to try and eat it with the, the chutney. chutney. And it's probably hot. Let's see. Let me tear a piece off here. Get a little bigger piece there. Is it too hot? It's hot, but I'm going <laughs> to eat it. That's very good. 
Very good. Perfect flavors, mm, right? Mm, Isn't mm. it? Just the right amount of spice. Yes. And everything, very flavorful. What do we have next? Okay, next we're going to make red bell pepper chutney. Mm. And that's what goes with that. Nice, and what goes in that? Okay, we need two chopped red bell peppers, two tomatoes that are sliced, one teaspoon cumin seeds, one garlic clove, one to two green chilies cut in half lengthwise, half a cup of cilantro, one to two tablespoons olive oil, half to one teaspoon tamarind, and that's optional. And for the seasoning, which is the second step, we need two teaspoons oil, quarter teaspoon mustard seeds, quarter teaspoon cumin seeds, one teaspoon urad dal, and four to five curry leaves. So what's the first step in this process? Okay, first, we have to put some oil. Okay. A little oil in there. When the oil is hot. Mm -hmm. Is that flame going? Yes, going? yes yeah. it is. When the oil is hot, we add cumin seeds. Okay. Do you want to keep stirring Absolutely. Cumin seems to add a lot of flavor to a lot of the dishes. Yes, and now uh -huh. we are making red bell pepper chutney. That so for great. the red bell pepper chutney, we add the cumin seeds as that's sauteing. This is green chilies again. Okay. Okay, so you can add as much as you want. Mm -hmm. This is the one that's going to give just a little bit heat to the chutney. Okay. So if you want to reduce the green chilies, you can, and you can take the seeds out too. Mm -hmm. Now, as you see that's oh, done, that's I'm going to add the red bell peppers. Okay, now we're talking. Yes. Now we just keep stirring. Mm -hmm. And usually if you want this to finish, you need to put the lid on. Okay, so I can grab your lid, lid for me, for please. You. There. Yeah. Now, usually we have to let this cook just for about two or three minutes. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't overcook the bell peppers, okay. but they should be cooked mm -hmm. uh, in a little bit. Now, once it's cooked, we'll just pretend it's cooked for two to three minutes. Okay. And now we will add the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. wow. Give it a nice stir. Mm -hmm. This is so high and rich in antioxidants. The red bell peppers has vitamin A, vitamin C. I love the combination of the red and green. Yes. Now that this is amazing. Yes. We we just need to let that cook. Okay. Now once that's cooked, though this is in South India, we make chutneys a lot. Okay. You know, because this goes with the dosa that you ate. Yes, yes. So I saved a little bit of that because I do wanna I, I wanna try this. Yes. And we we do this chutneys with a variety of vegetables. Mm -hmm. A lot of vegetables are used for the chutneys. So this is just one kind of that I'm making for this particular one, but you can use this recipe and make with any vegetables. Okay. You can make about, it with what eggplants. Fruit. Is there like a mango chutney? Yes, there, there is, is a mango okay. chutney also that okay. they do, that you can make. Okay. See that, it's almost cooking now. Oh, yeah. We have to blend this. Okay. And then I will show you the second step after blending, but we have to blend that with some garlic. Okay. Okay. So we've got our blender here. Just for a few more minutes, I'm just waiting to see if this can cook a little bit A little bit, bit longer. Us. Okay. Yeah. I'll set this over here for the time being. Now this has vitamin A, it has lutein, which is good for the eyes. Mm. So it protects from cataracts and macular degeneration of your eyes. Right. 
Yes, and it has a lot of vitamin C. It's good for the skin. I eat a lot. Okay. Can, okay. Yeah, my skin is good. <laughs> <laughs> so I eat a lot of this. Okay. Now we'll just take it out. Okay. So and you just have to. Now, are you ready for the the blender? Yes. Okay. Now, usually we just let it cool a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to. Now, maybe if you can this hold it. The, yes. Hold it together for me. I'll. Okay. Let's see how we can do that this. That's right. Whoops. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to get it all in the blender, but we're going to make it work. little bit there. There you go. Perfect. All right, we'll set that there. And here is a little piece of garlic. We have to put fresh okay. garlic. And a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. And this is the tamarind. That's the tamarind there? Yes. Okay. Did you ever see the tamarind? Oh, wow. I just soaked it in water. Yeah, I've never seen that before. Yes. And now you can blend it for me. Okay. And you, we want to get it to a nice smooth yes. consistency. Is that Very the smooth. goal? Okay, let's see. Let's bring this over just a little bit. There. All right. Here we go. Yep. More than, a little more than that, or that uh, looks Perfect. good? Perfect. Oh, Great man. job. All right. And now, where do we want to? Okay, pour just this? wait. Not yet. Okay. Now this is step two. Mm -hmm. For the chutney, we're going to season the chutney. I have the pan here. Going to put some oil. When the oil is hot, what ingredient do I put first? Ah, uh, is that mustard, mustard seeds? Mustard seeds, right. Okay. But when it's hot. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the cumin seeds. Okay. And then the urad dal. So that really adds that extra flavor to the base of your dish. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Sizzle. And the curry leaves. I turn this off, and now we can add that. Lovely. All right. Spices get you yes, sometimes, huh? Yes. Oh, nice. Look at that. Just right in there. It's all done. Okay. All right. There you go. Where is your dosa? Oh, I've got it right here. Right here and ready for some chutney. There you go. Oh, nice. We have it all done. Now, actually, we'll cook it for a little longer, so it won't be this. It will be just a little thicker. Okay. Okay? So I'll just put it there. On you the can side, dip. So I can yes, dip it. you can dip nice. it and eat it. Wonderful. So I want you to Great. try that. I'll, I'll grab that. It with you. Yep. See the. Mm. This is massive flavor here. It's so flavorful, and the combination of the chutney. With the dosa. With the dosa. Yeah, you can't eat dosa it's, by itself. You know, no. you have to eat it with something. That's absolutely amazing. Yes. So then, we what did we have over here? What is? Oh, we were supposed to put the That's cilantro there. in there and blend it. That's in all here, right. I got started a little early. That's okay. That's okay. The cilantro grows in the blending, blending. Yes. But there you go. <laughs> Very good. Yes. Now, what's our next recipe? Our next recipe is sautéed cabbage and carrots with coconut. Okay, and what's in that? 
For that, we need half medium head cabbage, cut thinly or grated, two medium-sized carrots grated, half a teaspoon mustard seeds, half a teaspoon cumin seeds, one teaspoon urad dal, one to two red chilies cut in half. You can substitute that with red pepper flakes and one to two green chilies chopped, quarter cup grated coconut, one clove garlic crushed, five to 10 curry leaves, one to two tablespoons of olive oil and salt to taste. So how do we start this dish? Well, the same way, we're gonna put oil. Okay. Now we'll pretend the oil is hot. All you right. already know the next step. Tell me what goes next. Mustard seeds. Exactly, now you're a pro. Oh, you know it. <laughs> I'm trying to get there. And then we'll do the cumin seeds. Uh -huh. <coughs> and the urad dal. These are the dry ingredients. So we just let that saute just for a little bit okay. and you will see the mustard seed sputtering. Mm -hmm. And then you add green chilies. Actually a while ago you can add the red chili. I didn't break this, if you break it it's very hot. Oh, so okay. I'm just leaving it there as okay. a whole, okay? You can put the red chili there, just let saute that in mm -hmm. the oil a little bit. We put the curry leaves. Okay. Everybody loves the curry leaves. Yes. They're from my backyard. Yes. And here is the garlic. Okay. I love garlic. And I love the fact that you use fresh ingredients, not processed. Yes, nothing. Like I don't like canned vegetables. Yeah. So now, see that sputtering? Yes. We are adding the cabbage. Cabbage, okay. And then you nicely mix all the ingredients together. Okay. Now cabbage is a cruciferous vegetable. It's like kale, mm -hmm. cauliflower. Mm -hmm. These are all cruciferous vegetables. I'm telling you, th these are notorious for beneficial nutrients, excellent nutrients in cabbage. My mom loves cabbage. There you go. Now we will normally let this cook. With, I'll add the cabbage too. I mean, sorry, the carrots. The carrots. This uh -huh. is grated carrot. We'll mix all of it. That'll give it a nice color. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now we can add a little salt. What are carrots good for? Oh, beta carotene. Mm -hmm. Good for your eyes and. Yes. Like for your vision. Yes. But half a cup. Okay, just half a cup of cooked cabbage is only 20 calories. Oh, wow. Yes, and very high. Um, I mean, 80, more than 80 gram, micrograms of mm -hmm. potassium. Vitamin K it has in it, sorry, vitamin K. Okay. 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 Now, you stir all these, we put the salt in it. Uh -huh. We have to, <coughs> sorry, we have to let that cook. Okay for a little bit. You don't overcook the cabbage, mm -hmm. but you have to just let it cook. And you can see the, you know, when it's starting to maybe like about five minutes or 10 minutes, mm -hmm. not to overcook, you know, cabbage is really nice. You have that nice crisp, a little crisp. Yes. If it's too overcooked, it's just soggy. Like soggy, yeah. Yeah, it won't, it won't be good. So once we let this cook for a little bit, then guess what we add finally? What do we add? Oh, is it? Coconut? This is grated coconut. Okay. It's frozen. We have it in the Indian store, mm -hmm. but you can use it. There's coconut powder nowadays available, you know, so you just use grated coconut or maybe a little coconut powder so you can sprinkle on it. But there's grated, not sweetened. Okay, this unsweetened. Is, this is unsweetened. Okay, gotcha. You have to look for that. But if it's sweetened, it will just ruin the yeah, taste. Yeah, it'll throw off that flavor. Yes. Gotcha. You know, but Cabbage is so easy to cook, mm -hmm. but it's exceptionally flavorful. I'm adding a lot of flavor. Okay. You see that? The yes. cumin seeds, the mustard seeds, just this tiny little bit, it enhances the taste so much for any vegetable. Mm -hmm. That's why Indian cooking, you know, the tasty, that's, that's, yes. that's you know, we just don't boil and eat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> taste, taste and making sure it's just right. Yes. Absolutely. Now, we will pretend that this has been cooked for about five to 10 minutes. Okay. Depending on what you know you like on medium heat or mm -hmm. don't put it on too high. 
and make sure you put enough salt. And now I'm going to add the grated coconut. This is the last step. Okay. After you add the grated coconut, you just leave it in for about three to four minutes. Okay. And let that cook with the grated coconut. Nice. Very colorful. Yes. Have the red, have the orange, have the green. And, and the now white. I added the carrots to the cabbage. Carrots have the beta carotene, it's good for your skin, mm -hmm. keeps you from not aging. Mm -hmm. I eat a lot of carrots <laughs> every day. Okay. Yes, because I don't want to age that fast. <laughs> I hear you, I hear you, I don't blame you. So I do, and yeah. of course coconut. Coconut also has very healthy fats, mm -hmm. and it has great nutritional value. Now they're into coconut a lot. You know, uh -huh. coconut are, oil, coconut milk. Yes, coconut milk. milk. Yes, yes. <clears throat> so this is it. Now, I want you to, Tell me the taste. Okay. Now I, I have something that you have prepared. Yes. And I am going to grab that now and check out the flavor. Let's see. Nice, healthy, delicious. Hmm. Do you see how that's been transformed into mm -hmm. the coconut, the cabbage, and the carrot in combination with the Indian spices, just it has a little bit. Just the right amount of spice too. It really gives it a different flavor. Like it's not just like it's not like boring old cabbage. This is like jazzed up, spiced exactly. up, delicious cabbage. This is good. Yep. What will we be making next? We will be making vegan dry fruit and nut ladoos. For that, we will need one and a half cups of pitted dates, a half a cup of walnuts, and a half a cup of cashews, quarter teaspoon or a pinch of cardamom powder. Oh, wow. So how do we get started with this recipe? Okay, I already have dates here. Okay. They're pitted dates, so we chopped them. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're just going to put this in our food processor. Okay. Oops. A little sticky there. Here, I got a spoon that can help with that. Here you go. Oh, actually, first we'll do the nuts. Okay. So first, we yeah, yeah. First, first, yeah. First, before we do the dates, we have to do the nuts and just give them a little so that they can. Okay. Okay. Let's put this first. These things always mess me up, like trying to get it get it going. So we'll just pulse pulse the nuts a little bit. Okay. And now I'm going to add the dates. Okay. Putting the dates in there. This is excellent. I'm telling you, That's dates have massive health benefits. It's going to add the sweetness to it, too. Yes. All right. And just a little cardamom powder. Okay. Now that takes it to a new, different level. Really? really I'm telling you. Okay, I'm just going to turn it on for a little bit. Just a little bit, that's all. I just want to make sure. Look at that. Ah, okay. And now mm -hmm. we just take it out and I'm going to put it in a bowl. Okay. Okay. My hands are just, I'm washing my hands. Yes. I'm just washing my hands. And with your hand, you just have to kind of mix the nuts and the dates together. Mm hmm. Okay. So this down here. And then. Look at this. You just make a nice round circle, just like that. Oh, wow. Did you see that? Yeah, so you just make a little round circle. Yeah, you, you can just put it on the palm of your hand and just roll it up, and there it is. Wow. A nice round circle. Now, when did you start making these? Wow, I always, always, always make these because these are just highly nutritious. You have your nuts. If you don't want to use almonds, if, I mean cashews and walnuts is what I have. I'm allergic to almonds. You can use almonds or if you can use sesame seeds, you can use sunflower seeds. Okay. You can use any seeds in here. Just the recipe that I gave, you can just put whatever amount mm -hmm. according to the recipe you want to substitute and not put 
you know, cashews, you can put whatever, but just half a cup for one and a half cup of dates. Okay. Okay. okay? Nice. And then I want you to try it and see. See how easy that was. I've got one down here. I always try and keep a nice and delicious snack over here. Let's see here. And just tell me how it tastes. Mmm. All oh, natural, ooh. all natural. The dates are natural sugars. Mm -hmm. It's high in sugars, but it's natural. Mm -hmm. You know, it keeps you really full and, you know, keeps your hunger. When you're hungry, you just eat one date. Yeah. It keeps you pacified. But this has nuts in it. So That's it's extra sweet. nutrition. Uh -huh. Because all the seeds that I added, if you put sunflower seeds or whatever, that's good for your brain, frontal lobe function, uh -huh. increases your circulation to the frontal lobe. This is excellent, excellent health benefits. This is all natural. I didn't add anything but just dates and nuts. Nice. And that's very flavorful. I mean, it's got the, it's got the crunch, the nice texture in there, but then it's got the sweet flavor And that well. cardamom that I added was uh -huh. just a quarter teaspoon. Wow. But can you see that? just gives it a, such a wonderful flavor. I'm telling you, the flavor just explodes in your mouth. Yes, <laughs> yes, sometimes just a quarter teaspoon, sometimes less is best, so yes. that, that but, is But excellent. this is excellent flavor. Oh That's yeah. That's what I love about it. Absolutely, absolutely. How do people, now, like when, when people want to get in touch with you, because you do cooking classes as well. Yes, yes. How do they get in touch with you? What number can they call? What's your email address? Yeah, well, they can actually go to my website, which is Sweet Soothing Music. You, they can go to my website, is there, or they can, my email, padmamediti at gmail.com. They can email okay. me. You know, my phone number is 813-325-5783. They can call me. I can answer all their questions. I know a lot of people call me and they have lots of questions, but they can contact me, anybody. Nice, nice. Well, I've definitely enjoyed everything that we've had thus far. Tell us a little bit about the dishes that you've made today um, and the nutritional benefits. Now, uh, first, actually, we did, we did spinach. Okay. You so know that. The spinach, spinach rice. Spinach rice, which I told you, if nobody wants, the kids don't want to eat spinach, mm -hmm. this is an excellent way to prepare spinach. Just look at the directions and see how you can make the spinach. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, spinach is high in iron, magnesium, folate. It has so many nutritional values to mm -hmm. it. And next, we made um, the red kidney bean curry. Right here. With the coconut in it that okay. adds such a flavor, a mass of flavors when you put coconut, a little bit of coconut yes. milk in it. Okay, so that's really an excellent dish, high, very high in protein. Mm -hmm. And fiber too, right? Yes, high fiber and protein also. And the next one is the dosa okay. or the crepe. You can just eat it like a tortilla, you, you know, in your burritos, you can put vegetables in there and eat it, mm -hmm. or you can eat it with the chutney, which is the red bell pepper chutney that I made. Now you tasted that. And How it, tasty was oh, that? Oh, it was amazing. So flavorful, so delicious, and just the right amount of spice. Exactly, but we don't good. eat chutney by itself. It's, it's always, you eat it with rice, mm -hmm or you eat it with dosa, or you eat it with something. You yes. know, it just complements whatever dish that you're eating it with. Mm -hmm. So you eat usually this with dosa, but you don't just eat it by itself. <laughs> yeah. I almost want to grab the bowl and get a spoon. And just <laughs> wow, <laughs> really? <laughs> it was so flavorful. And the next dish is cabbage, um, coconut, and also carrots, that we have grated carrot in there. Now that's an excellent dish that's so beneficial with so many health nutrients. As you can see, I have used all natural, I didn't use any canned products. Mm -hmm. Even my tomatoes, I pureed them. I didn't wow. use it from the can. Why don't you like canned stuff? Why don't you like, because they why do you like add everything chemicals. fresh? They add chemicals, uh -huh. and there's so many chemicals. But there's a difference when you eat fresh. Okay. There is a significant difference in taste. Mm -hmm. And we Indians are up for taste. Yes. We just want everything really, really with enhanced taste. Yes. So we will do anything to enhance the taste. Mm -hmm. And just these little spices take it to another level. Yeah, because I noticed in some of the recipes, like you would only put like a quarter teaspoon, That's for example, all. or something, and it really like added that extra flavor. That's it gave all it, that, it is. that punch that it needed. Yes, and you can, you can just boil cabbage and eat it. Mm -hmm. 
but if you just put a little mustard and the cumin seeds, mm -hmm. it will be really, really give you great taste. And if somebody don't have those with them, mm -hmm. if you don't have mustard seeds, it's okay. You can just use the cumin seeds. For An another thing, though, with the cabbage that that I like that you did is you didn't allow it to reach a place where it got soggy. Yes, like it was didn't overcook. Yes, yes, yes. We don't overcook cabbage, and even the carrots. That's very nice. A little crunch to it, mm -hmm. and it tastes really good just with a little grated coconut. Yes. And if you don't have coconut, it's okay. You don't have to use it, but if you have it, you can use it too. And I just want to let people know that if you don't have certain spices, whatever you have, you use it. It'll still taste better. You just follow my directions. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay? And the last but not least, uh -huh. we have the dates, and we made the dry fruit laddu, we call it, but it's sweet, but it's natural sweet. Mm. And you see how easy it was to just form, you know, a round uh, ball there, and it just delicious with just a tad bit of cardamom powder. Nice, yes, and that sweetness. Yes, was, was just great. enhances the flavor so much. Have you always loved to cook? Yes, I really enjoy cooking and feeding people. There's always guests in my house. I feed mm -hmm. everybody that comes to my house. They never go without eating. I bet your kids love to come home, don't oh, they? Oh, yes, they do. They <laughs> enjoy. They want to eat mommy's cooking. They bring all their friends and all that? Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Anybody, and you know, a lot of people are welcome to my house. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I, I love, I, I cook. But I love to eat more than I like to cook, so I'm trying to find that balance. You well, know. you're welcome to come to my home anytime. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for coming and, and sharing these amazing dishes uh, with me and with our viewers as well. And I know that they can access some of these recipes online yes. at www.3abn.tv. And when they try these at home, they're going to realize that it's not overly complicated to make. A lot of these dishes are, are simple. Once you have it prepped and you have the ingredients, mix this, add that flavor, and you're good to go. You just have Delicious. to plan. When you, yes. when you want to make something fresh, you have to plan. Absolutely. Thank you so much for Surely. coming Surely. Pleasure sharing. is all mine. Absolutely. I enjoyed it. It was a delight to be here. Yes. Thank you. And thank you. Make sure that you join us next time on 3ABN Today Cooking. God bless.